what does it take to care for children with disabilities? Wait, wait, I on the, wait. on the Red Dot follows the lives of three families to find out how they battle disappointment. Stop! Ah! You don't touch soil, la, yo. Face up to their limits. And beat the odds as a family. The apprehension starts every night before the nurse actually comes. I can physically feel the pain. It's a bit of a nightmare for me. I'm Zakia. I'm 34 this year. I'm living with my mom uh, of 68 years old and also my son of 6 years old. Before the nurse comes, I'll take uh, a dose of uh, morphine. Okay. So that it would help me to be calmer and feel less painful when she does the dressing. Decide first. Hand or the leg? Leg up. Scared. No broken skin. <laughs> Ah, that's like, uh, Here? Uh, 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 stop, stop, stop. The pain is like having someone rip off your skin and then put salt on it. I can see that he's sad and afraid because he sees that something is wrong with mommy, but he couldn't do anything about it. I made you cry again, ho. Sorry, ho. Sana. Uh, I'm actually suffering from uh, Raynaud's phenomenon and also Burgess disease. When I was about 14, 15. It started out as small blisters on my feet area. The GP told us that maybe I'm not wearing proper footwear. So we didn't give it much thought. Lah. But as I grew older, it's, it also starts to progress into a bigger wound. That's when I got admitted in hospital. Baju dia mak dah cuci eh? Baju rainbow tak mau tak mau cuci dulu. Tak, nenek tak cuci. It's only like me and Ahmad because I went through a divorce. Nenek tak cuci baju rainbow. Nenek dah siapkan nanti dia pakai untuk besok untuk graduation day. Okay? Betul kan? Dek, yang nurse cakap tu macam mana? Nanti lah lepas samatnya graduation nanti. Okay. Baru ada admit lah kat dalam SUH. That means on Sunday. They have to go back to hospital because some of the fingers are on the verge of like falling off on its own. That's when the infection got in. Yeah, I was supposed to go earlier actually, but because I wanted to really go for Ahmad's graduation, that I put it off a bit. It's upset. upset. I might not be able to see his other graduations. I'd rather fight and go and see. Mommy, call doctor. Get the jambi ubat aja boleh. Yeah. Dah. Yes. Allah. I feel like nervous. And how is Zakia feel when it's too long to sit there? I worried 
She might feel tired, feel sick. We just we just recycle. When I see him firstly on stage, I couldn't believe like that is my six-year-old up there without me. Seeing him perform up there with his friends was definitely worth every pain that I felt today. And you know, because I know I won't be able to go back in time again. So I'm unhappy. So ah, good boy. Hi, yeah, I need an ambulance, please. Uh, I I've got Burgess disease and Reynolds phenomenon. Okay. So uh, currently, I think uh, my wounds are a bit infected, so I need to go back to ENE. Alright, alright. Is the operation area is the one that is actually affected? Yeah, the wounded area, yeah. Okay, sure. I get my gear done. My gear is down there, down. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. Oh, you're okay? You're not okay. You're not okay. You're not okay. You're not okay. My wounds are a bit infected, so I need to go back to a &E. I was worried, you know, scared, mostly because of what the doctors are going to tell me. Sometimes I feel like I'm being a burden to the family, you know, because of my illness. Because it's supposed to be me looking after my mom at this age. Tak boleh marah marah dia lah, kesian kan. Nak kita tak tahu apa apa kan. Tak tumpang kasih dengan anak anak pun susah. Kita pak selah sayang dia. Mana boleh tak sayang Tina dua je. Even though I'm tired, if I see she smile, I'll forget everything. I hope one day Zakia will be fully recovered. I I am very very scared of losing her. I never thought that I would be in this state. I took writing for granted, you know, because like when you have fingers, you don't really see them there. Then suddenly it gets taken away from you. You have to depend on other people to feed you. In 2014, I was initially having a bit of um, sores on my right leg, and doctors uh, actually wanted to amputate, but I refused. That's when I realized that this is getting serious. I started staying in hospital a bit more longer each time, and the antibiotics gets a bit more stronger, and the pain keeps getting intense. Hey, stop touching my nose. You cannot feel my nose because you're wearing a bandage. I don't think a disease is a one-person fight. It actually involves everybody around you. Anything that can happen will happen. So you have to be thankful for each day that you have and for each person that comes into your life. Oh yeah, they told me that my BP cannot go below 
90. Below is lower. Below, Below is 90 low. is lower. My baseline is 90. Normal? I'm not normal. Yes, I can see you're abnormal sometimes. I think. <laughs> I realized my sister that I don't want to have. <laughs> but at the same time, she's also the friend and the sister that I never had. We seldom talk about sad things, but when we talk about it, we try to joke about it. The first time I met her was when I worked in the zoo. That was like 15 to 18 years ago. Back then, she was very jovial, very optimistic, despite her pain, what she's gone through. The illness doesn't change her at all. Not a single percent. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So there's been an infection that got worse. So the infectious doctors came in and they realised that the antibiotic that they gave her uh -huh. was not really controlling or preventing uh -huh. the infection. So that's the cause? Mm. So on discharge, we're going to give her another antibiotic, two antibiotics together, so that the infection doesn't get worse and hopefully, you know, there's no progression of the infection upwards. Okay, hopefully. Mm. Okay, and then just remember to get the nurses to come here and clean her dressing room. Okay, let's hope everything goes better for her. I'm very happy she's home because her birthday is coming. So I want her to be with me, with the son. Is staff is volunteer to help us to make over my kitchen and my room. Especially, they said to make all of us happy to cheer up Zakia and Ahmad. So, Nami sekarang contractor dia buat rewiring. Abi dia tambah plug. Abi yang chef lama-lama tu dong buka. Okay, okay. Jadi kalau macam masalahnya sekarang pon Zakia ada pasitu kan. So abu-abu tu expect banyak lah. So selepas dah habis tu nanti kalau buat Malum nak perlukan orang uh, volunteer, betul royong untuk bersihkan apa apa. Ah, boleh boleh. Uh, Malum just inform ah, ni lah. Okay. Cooking is save our budget. The muis give Zakia, I think about three fifty. She got medifan, hospital bill, everything medifan paid for her lah. My uh, CPF every month they give me two hundred fifty or like that. And then we got some saving. The first thing is we settle the bill. And sometimes the government give us subsidize, subsidize the water bill. I just take each day as it passes because I do not dare do long term planning for the future. For my hospital visits, uh, Tai Hua Kwan. They fetch me from home and they will uh, be with me until all the checkups are over. Uh, we are very much thankful because it, it cuts down on the taxi fares. Today, I'm seeing the pain doctor and I have the appointment with the social worker at the hospital. A healthy and happy, yes, yes, and see it didn't go up. I you must eat your medicine. I eat it. I don't want to be in hospital. Yes, I don't like to see you in hospital nowadays because you're not your normal self. It's so different from the past years. I can say it's getting worse. I think I ever told you. They don't know the cause, and there's no cure for it. And I hope you get well soon. Yes, I will get well. Sometimes I feel that she don't want people to see her sadness. She cannot walk, she cannot hold her son, she cannot touch. I didn't think that I would be like losing my digits and my toes and half of my feet. It's easy to sink in and be sucked in by depression. So it's good that you have someone to like pulls you out 
it's a 20 over years friendship and we still continue to have it like in the next 40, 50 years. And I will still be here. Yeah, you make sure. A few lost links, but I'll still be here. We need to see him grow up, okay? We will see him grow up together. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. Mam, Mam, Mam. Sayang dia. Mam. Kalau ada piggy bag tak boleh? Piggy bag. Cepat. Piggy bag, piggy bag. Piggy bag. Baik, baik. My mum and I have been very close. Because um she was a divorcee as well. So, she uh, raised me and my brother with the help of my uncles. So pretty much she was the first best friend I've known. Hi. Now she helps me bathe, transfer me from wheelchairs to like uh, to the bed, or she has to push me around. I would never, ever in a million years change her <laughs> to someone else. Happy birthday, choot choot. Mm. Eh, ada surat, Dek. Mama open lah. Saja nak nangis. Hmm. Dear Zakia and family, to acknowledge your family's unconditional love despite the challenging circumstances, on the red dot would like to present you with a special birthday celebration with your family and friends. Thank you for being an inspiration. Yours sincerely on the red dot team. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Must keep for Ahmad. Ahmad. Of course, my Ahmad. So for me, not for Ahmad. Cannot move, that they move forward. <laughs> It was a really big surprise and the setup was beautiful and the food was definitely great. When I see everyone there, I, I was pretty touched. Everybody is like so busy. But they actually made time to come over and yeah, to celebrate with me. My brother, Aizura and her family, the kids and some of my neighbours. Everyone got a present. So it went along pretty well. Okay, there you go. Congratulations. Don't answer me. Everybody gets something. Wow. After everybody left, my mum actually uh, tried on her abaya, and Ahmad also asked us to open her his present. He wanted to play with it longer. He definitely enjoyed the birthday party as much as I did. Before we went, he was telling my mom and I how excited he was. I feel happy but at the same time kind of sad because you know this year it's the end of his toddler ways. Next year he's primary one, so he'll be a big boy. He was nervous because he's a bit shy, so it takes him quite a while to warm up to the people around him. Ahmad? 
seeing him today in his school, I'm very much proud that he's starting a new phase in life. He has to start being independent. Amat nangis sikit. Oh, lo, lo. Tak apa, first day. Amat nangis sikit tau, Amat punya yeah. first day. Tak apa, tengok Evan tak nangis tu. Sini ada berapa? Bottle cap? One. Sini? One. Eh, two, two, two. Okay. <laughs> you find with your eyes? There is a chance that he Thank is affected by my illness, you know. But I'm not quite sure what it is. Hopefully, he grows out of it. Okay, you find this one. Find four differences between the two pictures. Look at the egg. Is it the same? Hmm, the gapper. Is the milk is the same? Yes, the milk is the same. He lacks a bit of confidence because he'll always be doing something and then he'll be like, Mommy, is this okay? So that's something that I would want to work on with him. Timmy wants to get to the train station. Ah, you're right. Draw a line through the correct path. Easy. Easy, okay, let's see you do it. So I choose to be up and going again. I have my mom still around and I have my six-year-old who still needs me to be, you know, to be there for him, to show him the way. And I do not want him to grow up being negative. I want him to grow up like, no matter what uh, circumstances are in his way, that he is able to pull himself out. I try not to be sad or ungrateful, I guess. I may be missing a few parts. I still have like, I can still eat, you know, like enjoy food. <laughs> Waking up another day, it's a gift. Every day is a gift to me because I might not know whether I'll get an infection today or tomorrow, you know, so every day is a gift.